Good evening. All right, let's get this going. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, friends and families, welcome to the Talawanda Alumni High School Hall of Achievement Ceremony, a special evening where we gather to celebrate the outstanding accomplishments of our honorees. Tonight, we have the privilege of recognizing individuals who have made significant contributions to their respective fields, leaving a lasting impact on society. Before we kick off the program, I'd like you to join with me for our invocation. This is Connie Hunter Urban, class of 72. That theme will be carried out. Dearest Lord, thank you for this opportunity to gather together and for putting onto people's hearts to start this endeavor to celebrate those who have excelled in their fields. May your presence permeate this place tonight as we celebrate Talawanda grads. Your word says we can do all things through you. And tonight, Lord, as we honor these men and women, we also honor you for your guidance and strength in all areas of our lives. In your precious name, dear Lord, we pray. Amen. The idea for this Hall of Achievement, this event, and this scholarship were born in 2017 on the back patio of local visionaries, Dave and Chris Winkler. I'm sure it was one of those, you know what would be a good idea, moments, bolstered no doubt by a responsible amount of red wine and brown liquor. This idea, as it turns out, had enormous merit and potential. To their credit, Chris, class of 1984, and Dave, class of 1976, not only captured the idea, let the dog out, and put their glasses in the dishwasher, but put together a plan to put the wheels in motion to make this a reality. Those plans included building a board of local Taiwan graduates and educators to help us all arrive at this evening. Those folks include, and if I could just have them maybe wave or stand up, Barbara Cox, a Taiwan educator from 1978 to 2001, Thank you, Barb. Linda Prather Everett, class of 1969. Tammy Urbeck Tome, class of 1983. Carolyn Burkhouse Winslow, class of 1978. Joe Wilhelm, class of 1990. Chris Rose Winkler, class of 1984, and my classmate. Holly Farmer Hansel, class of 1989. And Beth Burkett Killey, class of 1991. The board will also take this opportunity to thank Beth for her contributions and wish her all the best as she starts the next chapter of her life in the great state of Maine. We also welcome Kim Ogle, class of 1975, who will take Beth's place and help continue to build this hall. The board would also like to acknowledge Connie Hunter Urban, class of 72, who delivered our invocation. Mike Marston, class of 1982, current Talawanda faculty who led the Talawanda Orchestra and provided this evening's music. Andy Zimmerman, class of 2003. He and his crew are providing our technical sound support as well as filming tonight's event. Sharon Taylor Gregory, class of 86, who along with the FCCLA volunteers helped organize and facilitate tonight's celebration. You met quite a few of them as you entered the building this evening. And Melanie Malakot, class of 1991, who is our photographer. A 
copy of tonight's program for tonight's event can be found at your table along with a card that includes the omnipresent QR code, which will direct you and your mobile device to a digital and more detailed version of tonight's program. Tonight we honor those who've excelled in various fields, from science and technology to arts and humanities, from business and entrepreneurship to journalism, government, and community service. These individuals have not only demonstrated exceptional talent and expertise, but have also shown a deep sense of purpose and a desire to make the world a better place. In addition to celebrating the remarkable achievements of the honorees, tonight's High School Hall of Achievement ceremony holds a special significance as we come together to support a meaningful cause. We are thrilled to announce that this event is not only a celebration of excellence, but also a fundraiser to help establish a scholarship for future generations, the Promise Scholarship. This award will be presented to graduating THS seniors who demonstrate great promise in areas outside of athletics. Education is a powerful tool that can transform lives and open doors to endless possibilities. We believe in the importance of providing opportunities for talented and deserving students to pursue their dreams regardless of their financial circumstances. By establishing this scholarship, we aim to empower and support young minds as they embark on their educational journeys. Tonight, we invite all of you to join us in making a difference by contributing to the scholarship fund. Your generous donations will directly impact the lives of aspiring students, enabling them to access quality education, pursue their passions, and make their mark in the world. You will find donation envelopes on your tables, and I will speak briefly at the end of tonight's event as we wrap up. You may also talk with any of the board members whom I introduced about contributing to the great cause. But let's recognize and hear from our inaugural class. Our first honoree is Dr. Tanya Toole, class of 1958 whose groundbreaking research as a professor at Florida State University in the field of aging, specifically the mechanisms of balance, control, and mobility for patients with Parkinson's disease, changed the way we think about the physical dimensions of aging. Her work earned multiple grants and invited research opportunities in the United States and Europe. Now retired as Professor Emerita, Tanya continues to travel to extremely interesting places. She sails, she paints, she kayaks. Activities worthy of recognition, even on their own merit. Accepting tonight on Tanya's behalf is her sister, Joyce Wilhelm. I also taught at Talawanda High School in the late 60s and early 70s, so you might, maybe my, some of my students are out there. I'm very happy to represent my sister Tanya um, this evening, and so I would like to read her speech. She wasn't able to come tonight. Um, she lives in Florida and has been home several times recently. So, this is from Tanya Toole, class of 58. Good evening. I am so very honored to have been chosen for the first Hall of Achievement at Talawanda High School. It is wonderful to have this new Hall of Achievement, and then to have been chosen is a special honor. Thank you to the committee, and a special thank you to Chris Winkler, who got all of this started. I have had many, many influences that have helped to develop achievement in me. First, my dad, Arnold Toole, and my mother, Margie, and my sisters, Joyce Wilhelm and Denise Toole, helped to mold me. As a family, we ran the Oxford Country Club. I mowed every blade of grass on the golf course as I walked behind the mower and drove an old tractor, and I did this for eight years. Mother and Joyce produced and served the food and ran the clubhouse. Joyce did this while she also took care of our special needs sister, Denise. We all worked hard and I learned dedication to that hard work. 
Of course, dedication to hard work carries over to much in life. For example, I took trigonometry from Mr. Epperson at Talawanda. Who would think trig would lead to anything for a girl back in the 1950s? However, my master's degree in biomechanics at the University of Wisconsin was all trigonometry, and it led uh, for analyzing the golf swing in my master's thesis. And by the way, um, this girl right here, I couldn't even read her master's thesis. <laughs> then a PhD in motor control and learning at Penn State led to eventual full professor at Florida State University. My greatest joy at FSU was the research I did for 15 years on Parkinson's disease. Some of the goals were to study mobility, balance, strength training, treadmill use for endurance, and speed of information processing. My graduate students and I were very successful in helping those with Parkinson's to improve many aspects of mobility, balance, endurance, strength, and quality of life. So in conclusion, it has been um, learning from hard work from, with my family and at McGuffey Elementary and Talawanda High School that helped me achieve over the years. What I'd like to say about my sister Tanya is she's probably one of the best athletes to ever come from Talawanda. She could be every man on the golf course in the 1950s and 60s. Um, she climbed to um, almost to the base camp of Mount Everest. This woman still goes to the UP of Michigan in the summer for a month and where she has a truck and a sailboat. So she not only is uh, well-educated, and a woman of the 50s did not go to college. Um, I'm very proud of her. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joyce. And welcome, Dr. Tanya Toole, to the Tawanda Alumni Hall of Achievement. We have with us tonight Dr. Benjamin Bolser, class of 1991, an attending physician at Cincinnati Children's, whose groundbreaking research has revolutionized the way we think about inherited connective tissue diseases. His dedication to pushing the boundaries of knowledge, especially in medically complex patients, which extends treatment to evaluate not only a person's medical health, but demographics, behavior, socioeconomic functions, local health care systems, medical decision making, and a patient's overall environment. This approach has aided in finding innovation solutions that have paved the way for future generations to build upon his work. Dr. Bolzer is also an active in mission work outside the U.S., bringing expertise and care to those who might not otherwise benefit. The Hall of Achievement recognizes Dr. Ben Bolzer. Thank you. Uh, thank you uh, to the Hall of Achievement Board for this recognition. I'm truly humbled by uh, receiving it. And congratulations to all the other inductees. A very big thank you to my Aunt Linda for nominating me. And thank you to my wife, my children, my parents, and my friends for playing a big role in shaping who I am. And thank you to God for his mercy, kindness, and blessings in my life and in the lives of my family and friends. My education at Talawanda High School prepared me well. It was a great start for life's journey, and in that way has played a part in any subsequent achievement. 
The school has done the same for many of my family members, both before me and after me. And for that, I say thank you, Talawana High School. I've always been proud to say that I graduated from THS and have never had a reason to be ashamed. Today is no exception. Go Braves! <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Welcome, Ben Bolzer, to the Taiwan Alumni Taiwan Hall of Achievement. All right, this guy I know. Next, we have Tim Derrickson, class of 1978, a former state representative for the 53rd District of the Ohio House of Representatives. In this role, he supported the creation and development of Jobs Ohio a key economic driver across his district and state. While in office, he authored House Bill 89, which established Ohio Agriculture Week to annually recognize and celebrate the state's largest industry. He currently works for the organization he helped form as a senior director of food and agribusiness, where he oversees and mentors hundreds of companies that cultivate, process, package, and deliver, uh, distribute foods and beverages enjoyed around the world. He quite literally began making his impact early and locally, starting multiple business, working as a realtor, and serving as a Hanover Township trustee. Welcome to the Hall of Achievement, Tim Derrickson. Thanks, Tim. Well, what a treat. What a treat to be here. You know, I, I'm just really pleased that the hairstyles have changed since 1978. <laughs> so to the Petros, thank you for what you do. We look so much better than we did in 1978. Um, to the committee who formed this, what a, really what a blessing it is to the, to the university or to the, co to the high school and to the community. Uh, you know, we've honored our, our athletics and athletes for so long. We've, we've got so many people that we can recognize. I'm just really am humbled by being one of those people. Um, I, I kind of paid attention to the other folks that I share this class with, the other five, and gosh, the diversity amongst, amongst us. I mean, an old dairy farmer, politician, uh, a doctor, writer, and the others. I, I just, it's humbling to be amongst a crowd, a group with such diverse interest, and our vocations are so different, but yet, what we all do have in common is we all came from the greater Oxford area, we all graduated from Tallulah High School, and I think the diversity that's recognized amongst tonight's award winners really is the celebration, because we are so different than what we've been able to accomplish in our careers. So I'm grateful to be part of this first class. I'm grateful to the community to have supported me politically for so many years. Um, it's just, again, humbling to be with my family, and and all we've been able to accomplish, not only as a family, but as a community. So thank you for this evening. Welcome, Tim Derrickson, Taiwan Alumni Hall of Achievements. This year's class also includes Schroeder Papu, class of 1991, an award-winning author of The Year of the Pitcher, Bob Gibson, Denny McLean, and the End of Baseball's Golden Age. Schroeder's path through journalism has taken him from writing features for Chicago Reader in the late 90s to staff gigs at the New York Observer, Sports Illustrated, and The Atlantic, and The Washington Post. For much of the past decade, Schreeder has carved out an inspiring freelance career, anchored by his periodic New York Times column, The Male Animal. He is amazingly versatile and has covered topics as different and important as the impact of cancer on minority women, the homeschool movement, arts funding, college basketball, the local environment, and political organizing efforts. His work has appeared in numerous publications, including New York Magazine, 
Fast Company, Mother Jones, and Men's Journal. A native of Oxford, Ohio, and a graduate of Northwestern University, he currently lives in Brooklyn, but can now so now call the Talawanda Hall of Achievement home. Shreeder Papu, welcome. Thank you. Um, well, when I first got the call, there were two reactions. First, are you sure? <laughs> and secondly, when I saw the list, and I thought, if we're going to speak, please don't let me follow Gary. Said, yes! <laughs> Thank you. Um, but seriously, thank you so much. Um, anyone who knows me knows how much I love this school and love this town. And, you know, I've been a reporter since I was 19. And essentially since I left here. And, you know, I was able to hit the ground running, primarily because of the lessons I learned here in this Hillian school, but just being around all of you and this town and the people I met. And those lessons of empathy and understanding and tenacity and hard work. And it means making every phone call. It means being able to look in someone's eyes, whether it's some politician or a baseball player or someone who's gone through like the worst period of their lives. And being able to talk to them on the base level. And I learned that here. And there was no other uh, better place to learn that. And I carry that every single day of my life. Um, but I also am so touched by this award, but it's a family award, and so I'm so happy to share with my family here. And my dad, uh, Ramos here, and my sister, who hopefully will be in this thing someday. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you go, yeah. Uh, and my niece, I'm sorry. So, speaking of family, um, there's someone missing here tonight that I wish she was. Uh, my mom passed away 14 years ago. And as you know, she taught here for many years, and she was a force in nature. Uh, there's a story I like to tell that's sort of epic, uh, in journalism circles even. Um, when I was in New York Observer, my parents came to visit me in our offices, and the late editor Peter Kaplan, who was my driving force, my mentor, and a tough guy. Uh, my parents came to visit him. They left, and I get a call saying, your mother stays at Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> and my response was, join the club. <laughs> um, you know, her tenacity, her spirit, and her drive drove me and my family, but her, you know, she cared about this community, she cared about all of you, and you know, she would have been so happy to time. And so, you know, it's it's such an honor to be here and I love all of you. Thanks. Welcome to Shreeder Pampu. Do you remember who you beat, John? Yes, I will remember his name in a second, though. Um, you did? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Thank you, guys. Everybody had to find their path. I found mine. Um, cooking was a huge outlet, much to my dad's chagrin. Um, my dad has since passed, and I, I know uh, later in life he was very proud um, and felt cool uh, about the restaurants, which was, was fun because it was very different than 1985. <laughs> and, you know, the profession was very different then. Um, it was very under the radar. I think today it's really part of pulp culture. Um, you know, you have Top Chef, Iron Chef, um, Master Chef, Master Chef Junior, and I don't know if you've seen these kids cook these days. Eight-year-olds cooking duck and foie gras, and I think when I was eight, I was eating mud. So <laughs> I'm uh, hugely proud of all the teams that have really helped. Um, like all industries, it's a composite of, of, 
uh, of many good efforts, um, focused to a finished dream and, and, and point, and I, I can't be where I am without them. Um, all these years later, dishwashers, essays, servers, cooks, um, and up and above all that, my wife Holly, who I would not be here without, um, helps me with the restaurants, does all the firings, thankfully. <laughs> she does, I make her do all the hard stuff, but it's a huge honor uh, to be this group. Thank you, committee. Thank you, Jonathan Daniel, for the nomination. I feel very honored and humbled. I'm humbled by my industry often. Uh, it reminds you very often how difficult it can be um, but it is exciting and I love it, but thank you. It's an honor to be here. Let's welcome Sean McLean to the Tower on the Hall of Achievement. All right, this piece is a little bit unscripted. This just kind of popped up this afternoon. We are extra honored to mention a happy circumstance that we found out very recently. In fact, for me, it was in the Walmart parking lot this morning. I was getting socks. At some point in what has become Tawanda social lore, faculty, administrators, and students decided that something big was needed between homecoming and prom. Shout out Chris Winkler. That something was Winterfest, a celebration of bad weather, teenage awkwardness, and that year, probably the song Careless Whisper by Wham, <laughs> which was played at least once during the slow jam section of the annual Snowball. <laughs> Sitting together at a very special table, table are the Snow Prince and Princess of Winterfest 1985, honoree Sean McLean, and the niece of honoree Leslie Willem Brankhap, class of 1985. And we'll need to recreate the yearbook photo <laughs> on that one, because there is one. Finally, for tonight, we recognize Gary Owen, class of 1991, a stand-up comedian and actor. After graduating from Talawanda, he joined the Navy, achieved Master at Arms rank, and was in the Presidential Honor Guard. He began doing stand-up at the tail end of his Navy career and grew his craft and gained recognition eventually headlining cable TV events and hanging out with Shaquille O'Neal on the All-Star Comedy Jam Tour. He's had featured roles in films like Daddy Daycare and Little Man and had his own TV show on the BET network called The Gary Owen Show. <laughs> he is currently a touring comedian and podcaster who performs live shows in various cities across the U.S. In fact, he just finished up a series of shows in Orlando and will head off to Baltimore after tonight's program for a run of shows at the Comedy Factory. Please welcome Gary O. Thank you. Uh, safe to say I have the lowest GPA Well, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, this is bringing back FFA fruit sale memories. I don't know, I just want to sell some Granny Smith apples in here right now. I used to kill them off the fritters at FFA. Well, I am a uh, class of 91. Uh, it's good to see Benji. I ain't seen Benji since graduation, bro. You were singing my place in this world. That's right. I know you can sing. That's crazy that you're a doctor. Wild, bro. Sean, I. Restaurant here, uh, uh, Papu, jeez, I just like saying your name. <laughs> yeah, some legends in here tonight. Coach Krause, my high school football coach is here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Coach Krause. <laughs> Mr. Edwards. Uh, the only black man that can get a bunch of farmers to do the electric slide. <laughs> in this crowd. <laughs> no, uh, let's see, I started in 91. Uh, I didn't really know where I was going. I think, I think hosting this 
well, what I do? Sixth grade, I sang Mr. Telephone Man, a talent show. My first time up in front of people, and then I start hosting the talent shows, and Mr. Evers always tell you every time I had a sack in football, I move off back to the huddle. I think I was destined to be a performer. Uh, I'm glad we got this because I'm really sick of all the uh, amazing athletes getting awards. Why can't us JV people get some stuff too? Because I had, uh, this guy wrestled, I was three and 30. I beat the same guy three times. Nathan Eby from Edgewood High School. Yeah, I remember who he was. Trust him with the head and arm. <laughs> Killing it. But uh, shout out to my buddy Mike, Paul. Um, woo. Every time. <laughs> Someone's got to take the medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has an alarm go off at this time of night. They say you got to take their medicine. No, uh, Mike is a... Uh, yeah, if you don't record this, that'd be great. Um, people know the story, but my senior high school, I lived right over here at the... Um, I am a trailer park. So, Mike woke, woke me up one morning. Ooh, it was tough. Because I didn't, I didn't take the SAT, I didn't take the ACT. So I was, I was going to be stuck, man. And he woke me up. And him and his dad drove me down to the uh, recruiting section. And he pretty much forced me to join. I don't know where I'd be if I didn't know. I ain't happy. Yeah, so I still don't know how we got in my trailer. <laughs> it's weird. You just wake up. Mike's like, wait, he's waking me up. He's like, come on, man, come on. I go, hey, what's up? He goes, you gotta get out of here. You're gonna be stuck. And this is like December of my senior year, so I don't know where I'm going. And him and his dad, shouts out to Harry, drove me down to the recruiting station. And they, they weren't going to let me not join. So he saw something in me. He was like, we had a discussion. It was like, I, I didn't know where I wanted to go. I just knew where I didn't want to be. And I didn't want to be stuck in the trailer park. And so that, and then it ended up, as, as fate has it, I joined the Navy. I get accepted to the presidential honor guard. So I'm at the White House doing parades and stuff. And I'm getting in trouble because I'm always smiling on the White House lawn. You know, it's, it's Kind of tough. And then I get to San Diego and, and Mike's out there and we become roommates out there and then we've just been lifelong friends ever since. So, you know, that if they have a hall of just cool ass dudes, <laughs> Mike be in that one for sure. And then Paul, Paul, Paul's a good friend from high school and he moved to Taiwan in 10th grade and so the, 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 the black student body went from like 10 to 11. So we were like, we were killing it without Bunker Hill. <laughs> Remember Bunker Hill, the boys home? Some wild boys there. So yeah, Paul, and he just, Paul opened my eyes as to like, just not be so narrow-minded when it comes to people in general, because he showed up, he was the only black kid on the wrestling team. He was wearing a Rastafarian and his dad was a preacher, and I got to hang out at his house, and that's the first time I'd seen like, just a, a regular, sorry, I almost cut. Just a regular mom and dad and, and family get together, because I just didn't have that, so. And Taiwan was like, they looked out for me. That's why I get a little emotional, because, man. I just ain't supposed to be here. It's just you. That's the only thing I know. It's when you go home and it's just dark. 
and you can go to school. And people are laughing, and, and they smile when they see you, and they're generally happy. And I, I didn't have that. So the, the high school that gave me that, and gave me confidence, and just showed me that um, people cared about me. Because shoot. Man, I am a crying ass dude <laughs> come here. But it just, it means something to me. Like, it's weird, I can go up in front of 10,000 people, no problem. I get, I get in McGonagall. <laughs> Given. So, but yeah, and it's good to see all like old friends and family here that I, I, I hadn't seen. Not old family. My aunts and uncles here. Thank you for coming. And uh, just it's like a it's like a mini crash reunion. And, and it, it, the good thing is when in my line of work, people always ask me like, when's your next movie? When you gonna be on TV again? When's your next special? And the people that call me from this area, they just ask about me. They ask, how are you doing? So, you know, that means a lot to me. So. This is, a, this is a beautiful venue. Um, I, I don't know whether chandeliers are in the middle of a barn, but <laughs> crazy. This fireplace is really hot. <laughs> like, there's so much back sweat underneath this jacket right now. Oh my God, I'm trying to heat down a little bit. Next year I have it over there. So, yeah, so uh, yeah, it just means a lot to me. So um, thank you guys, and I um, hope we continue this going every year. Thank you. Welcome Gary Owen, Taiwando Alumni, Hall of Achievement. So congratulations once again to our honorees. Thank you for sharing your incredible talents with the world and for inspiring us all to reach for the stars. I also really appreciate you laying it all open here as you, you thanked your mentors and your families and your friends. That means a lot to me, and I'm sure it meant a lot to the folks out in the audience. Um, before we conclude tonight's event, it's essential to express our gratitude to a lot of the individuals who have played a strong role in the development and the success of tonight's honorees. To the families and friends of the honorees, thank you for standing by their side throughout their journey. Your love, understanding, and belief in their abilities has been instrumental in their achievements. Your support has given them the strength to overcome challenges and pursue their dreams fearlessly. We also extend our gratitude to the teachers and to the educators who have nurtured and inspired our honorees along the way. Your dedication to fostering a love for learning, encouraging critical thinking, and providing guidance has shaped the minds of these remarkable individuals. Your commitment to their growth and development has undoubtedly made a lasting impact on their lives. Furthermore, we would like to acknowledge the mentors and advisors who have generously shared their wisdom and expertise with our honorees. Your guidance, mentorship, and belief in their potential have been invaluable. Your willingness to invest your time and knowledge in shaping the next generation of leaders is truly commendable. Lastly, we cannot forget the support of our community and the organizations that have provided resources, opportunities, and platforms for our honorees to thrive. Your commitment to fostering an environment that nurtures that talent and celebrates achievement is instrumental in creating a culture of excellence. For those who have played a part in the success of our honorees, we extend our deepest gratitude. Your contributions have not gone unnoticed and have been instrumental in shaping these remarkable individuals into the accomplished individuals they are today. Now here's the pitch. We understand that not everyone may be able to con contribute financially, but just your support in spreading the word about this scholarship and encouraging others to get involved is equally valuable. It was fun among the board members to just watch the ticket sales grow as we continued to publicize this. And you send it out on your Facebook page and you copy it out to Instagram or you just send an email or whatever it happened to be to watch the people's response come back with just 
even if it wasn't a ticket sale, it was like, what a great idea. You guys are doing a really good thing here. And I couldn't agree more. It's one of the reasons I joined um, and wanted to contribute as soon as Chris asked me to help out. Um, so spreading the word about the scholarship and encouraging others to get involved is as equally as valuable as a contribution. Together we can create a ripple effect of positive change, ensuring that talented individuals can thrive and make an impact in their chosen fields. We would also like to express our gratitude to the individuals and organizations who have already shown their support for the cause. Your belief in the power of education and your commitment to investing in the future is inspiring. Let us come together as a community, united in our desire to make education accessible and empower the next generation of leaders. Your contribution, no matter the size, will have a profound impact on the lives of deserving students, giving them the chance to pursue their dreams and create a better future for themselves and others. And again, for tonight, just thank you for your generosity and support. It's really nice to see this many folks from, the, from family and friends to just the Oxford community come out in support of these folks. Um, let's make this scholarship a reality and create a legacy that will continue to transform lives for years to come. So in closing, let's celebrate the achievements of the honorees, acknowledge the support of their families, teachers, mentors, and the community at large. Together we have created an environment that fosters growth, celebrates excellence, and inspires future generations to reach for the stars. Thank you all for being a part of the evening. Let us continue to support, uplift, and celebrate the achievements of those around us. Thank you all very much. Please feel free to take advantage of photo ops. Please introduce yourself to the honorees. Let them know what you think of the things that they've done. The bar will be open until 9. So have another drink on us. <laughs>